Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about client side form validation. So, let's see how we can add client side form validation in Laravel 7. So, switch to the command prompt and here let's create a controller. Okay, so just write here php artisan make column controller space controller name let's say controller name is auth controller okay now press enter controller created now run the application so just write here php artisan serve okay now switch to the project and uh, just go inside the controller so app http controllers and open auth controller okay and here let's create a function here so just write here function public function and function name let's say index and here simply return a view and view name let's say register okay now add the route for this function so just go inside the routes directory and just open web.php file and here just create a route so just write here route get uri register controller name auth controller and create function name which is index okay now let's create this view so just to go inside the resources directory and in views and here just create a new file and just write here the name register.blade.php okay now inside this file just add the html5 boilerplate so just write here exclamation sign and press tab now change the title here register new user okay and add here the cdn for jquery so switch to the browser and just go to the google.com and here just search jquery G, uh, cdn okay now just click on first link and here just click on minified copy and here paste okay now let's add the bootstrap cdn so just open new tab and here go to the get bootstrap.com now click on get started and from here just copy the css and js okay so just copy and uh, paste here now copy the js and paste here okay now remove this jquery slim.min.js file so just remove this line all right now go to the browser and just open google and here search the parsley js cdn okay now click on first link and from here just copy the parsley.min.js cdn okay so just click here and paste here okay now inside this form, body tag just add the form okay so for that just add here the container first so just write here container then row column empty and also set the offset here so just write here dot offset md3 okay now add the card here so just write here card card header and just add the header so simply write here register new user okay and inside the card body card as body just add the form okay so just write here the form tag 
set the id register form okay and here just create the field so first add the field for the name so just write here form dash group add here the label for name and here just add the text name okay now add the input text field input type is equal to text and class form control and add here the name which is name okay now close this now just copy this and uh, paste here email and also write here email now copy this and paste here okay this is for password so just write here password and inside the email just write here input type email okay and here password for password and also change the name password okay now copy this and paste here for the confirm password so just write here confirm password all right also set the id of the password field so just write here password okay and this is for the confirm password just just write here c password and name as c password okay one more field for the phone number so just copy this and paste here and here just add the phone for phone and just copy this and paste here phone all right now add the submit button here so just write here button type is equal to submit and add the text here submit okay now add the add the rate csrf also add the method here method post okay now save this file and let's check it so switch to the browser and just go to the register and you can see the form okay add the button class here so just add here class btn btn dash primary okay now save this file and just refresh the page all right now let's validate this form using parsley so here just inside the input text field name just write here for required and data dash parsley dash pattern okay and here just add the pattern which is a dash small z and capital a dash capital z and also accept the space so just write here a space okay plus and dollar sign all right and add here the event data parsley and event uh, trigger dash trigger parsley dash trigger okay is equal to up okay now copy this and paste inside the email and just write here required 
now copy this and paste here inside the password and confirm password and also inside the phone okay now here just add data dash uh, parsley dash type okay inside the input field email okay so just write here email and inside the password add here the length so just write here data dot uh, pars parsley dash length okay and set here the length let's say min uh, 8 and maximum 16 okay and inside the confirm password just write here data dash parsley dash equal to okay and just pass here the id of password so just copy and add here the hash sign then paste here password okay and inside the form input field uh, phone input field just write here data dash parsley uh, dash pattern and just write here 0 to 9 and also add here plus dollar sign okay and add here the length so just copy this and paste here now add here the minimum length and maximum 13 okay now save this file all right now here just add the script tag script dollar function and inside this just write here dollar form id form id is registered form okay so just write here has the register form dot parsley so just write here parsley okay and also add the css so just write here inside the head tag just write here the style and here dot parsley as errors dash list a space li set the color so just write here color red okay and this the style none this the style colon none okay now save this file and uh, now go to the auth controller and let's create a function for form submit so just write here public function and let's say function name is uh, register submit okay add here the request dollar request okay and just going to simply print a message here so we'll return form submitted successfully okay now create the route so here just add the route post the register controller name which is auth controller and function name so just copy this function name and paste here also add the route name name let's say route name is auth dot register okay now copy this route and uh, 
let's go inside the register.blade.php file and here just add the action double call the packet route and just write here the route name hot dot register all right now save this file all set so let's check it so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now click on submit and you can see here the required validation okay and if i enter the incorrect name you can see this error and if i write here the correct name like this there is no any error okay now enter the phone no email id so just write here amazon Uh, one two three at the rate you can see uh, this value should not be valid email okay so just the, write the, the here valid email id okay there is no any error now enter the password you can see here the validation error it should be between 8 and 16 character long okay so just write here one two three four five six seven eight okay now enter the confirm password so i'm just going to write here only three character you can see the validation this value should be the same okay the password so just write here one two three four five six seven eight okay now enter the phone number i'm just going to write invalid phone number you can see the validation now enter the correct phone number okay now click on submit you can see here form submitted successfully so this way you can add client side validation in uh, laravel 7 so that's all about client side form validation so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching